host, comedian actor Gil Fajardo, and here I have a lovely Miss Beautiful Retha Gray here. Welcome to the show. How are you doing? I'm great. Thank you for having me. <laughs> First thing I want to ask you is where did you grow up at? I was born and raised in Los Angeles, California. I love LA. Hate the traffic, but I love LA. <laughs> <laughs> and what made you get into this industry? What the film and the entertainment business, what got you involved in doing it? Well, actually, I did my first play when I was six years old. It was at a community center in our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And um, it was Sleeping Beauty, and I was oh. the wicked stepmother. And I had the only speaking part in the whole piece. Wow. And so, I, and it really wasn't even speaking. It was a cackle. Wow. So I went, ah! <laughs> and that's what the audience did. I like that. And then they went like that, and I said, I want to do this. Right. So you got bit by the bug. I did. I did. I went to LA City College, which was the best theater arts department, even of most colleges in the United States. It was wonderful. I did a USO tour when I was going to LA City College. Oh. At the time, it was the only uh, junior college right. that had gone on an actual USO tour. Are you kidding me? We were the last yeah. USO tour before Bob Hope's last tour. Wow. This was in 1972. It was the end of the Vietnam War, and it, it was a fabulous opportunity to see the world, to perform for our troops. It, it was absolutely an amazing uh, opportunity for me. My first movie that well, the only movie actually that I actually starred in was uh, a movie I made in 1974. It was the era of black exploitation films, so I will not tell you the name of this film. <laughs> However, <laughs> we all have one, okay? Every single movie star. I tell young actors, don't do anything you don't want your grandchildren to see, because it may happen. <laughs> one of the other one, the main one that I seen you was is with uh, Betty White, uh, and I think NBC picked it up first. And Betty White's off their rockers. We off their rockers. We were on NBC for two seasons. Oh, love it. I saw it. Funny. Yeah, continue. And we were on the Lifetime Channel for a season, and mm -hmm. basically we were pulling pranks on young people. The senior citizens playing pranks on young people. So I got to do all kinds of things. Oh wait, what's that? There's something right here. Oh. See, gotcha. <laughs> now tell me, what do you got going on next? Well, I'm very honored to have been uh, nominated as Best Actress in an independent film for a movie called Betrothed. Okay. It is a horror film. If you are into like the real old school hacker movies, you will love Betrothed. No. And I'm nominated in the film for the, I have to say it right now, it's called NAFCA, Nollywood African Film Critics, Film Critics Award. <laughs> nice. For 2016. So I'm really yes. excited about that. That takes place on November 19th. Wow. Uh, I've been involved in, as a presenter in these awards before and they're really a fabulous event. It's I think I might be attending that event yeah, too it's as well. Be so I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be one flagging you down. Right here, read yeah. up, read <laughs> up. Remember me, remember me. Yeah, I've right. got a film that's coming out on the Ion channel called A Husband for Christmas. Oh, definitely got to see that. I play Vivica A. Fox's mother. Unfortunately, I don't get the husband for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it, it's a romantic comedy yeah. Christmas film. It's really destined to be a new Christmas classic. And one of the fun things I've done recently is Shameless with William H. Macy. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, my, it's one of those roles that my grand my grandchildren see me on TV and I, I just don't usually get to act like a nice old grandmother on TV. And, and this is another one where I'm just, yeah. I'm a pistol packing granny. Mm -hmm. What can mm -hmm. I say? You play that role well. I play it well. That's right, that's right. Just 
Google Rita Gray and I will pop up depending on what you want to see. RitaGray.info is my blog. So that's wow. how you can kind of keep up with what I'm doing. Yes. And then Facebook, you can keep up with what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis. She hasn't accepted me yet. I was like, good. Oh, no, I, I accept everybody. <laughs> Well, thank you for having me, and my saying is, you're never too old, and it's never too late for anything. That's right. For anything. Just follow your dreams. Keep up. Keep on doing what you need to do to get the success of whatever it is you want to be. Awesome. Thank you so much.